In a previous video, I demonstrated the tiny dice that I designed. And I've gotten a few questions about how it actually works. And those questions break down into the following logic. Basically, in that video, or in this dice, there are two dice, and that means there's 14 LEDs. And I'm using an ATtiny13, which has five usable pins, because even though it has eight pins, one is VCC, one is ground, and one is used for reset, leaving me five pins. One of those pins is used for the button. That means four are used for the LEDs. However, three times four is 12 from the Charlie Plexing equation, which is in the previous video, but 12 is less than 14. So how can this work? And the answer is two dice does mean 14 LEDs, but they're actually in eight distinct groups. And I've drawn out what those combinations are here. So basically you have all the LEDs in this image, and then for one, you only light up the center, but when you light up two, you always line up or light up these diagonal ones together. Three is just a combination of one and two. Four is a combination of the two one or the ones you used for two, and then the opposite of the ones you used for two. Five is just four and one, and then six is four plus the centered horizontal pair. So then in the schematic, it looks like this, where this is the tiny, this is the high voltage, this is the low voltage, or VCC and ground, this is the button, which I attached to pin B1. And then these are the combinations of each of these pins that I used. So for example, this diagonal set is pin B3 and pin B4, and it's just copied down here. And these two are copies, and these two are copies. And then this one stands alone and has no copy. Because this one doesn't have a copy, I decided to put resistors on each pair of LEDs so that they would all be the same brightness. Another way you could do this is to actually calculate and make this resistor value different from these resistor values in order to make the LEDs have the same brightness. But I decided it was easier just to use the same size resistor. So I hope that clarifies how this works. If you want to design your own, um, thanks for watching.